Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this video for the 1111 Gateway of 2022. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, we're going to cover what is the 1111 Gateway. I'm going to share four things that we can expect from this energy portal of November 11th, 2022, as well as four things we can do to prepare for the 1111 portal this year. Okay, so let's start with what is the 1111? Why is it so important? And 1111 is this date that comes around every year, um, obviously on 1111. And so it comes right after the ancient Celtic celebration of Samhain, which initiates the dark portion of the year. Um, and also it'll be coming right after that idea of All Souls Day. So while Samhain or Halloween, it tends to kind of like address some of those dark spirits. And then there's this huge amount of light that comes in afterwards. And then the numerology of 1111 is super important. 11 is a master number and it really coincides with, or it, it signifies the energy of spiritual enlightenment. Okay. To make it very simple. Okay. So this is a, a really powerful time of year where it's like we're welcoming in this light into some of the darkest as we move into the darkest time of the year, at least in the northern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere, it's going to be feel a little bit different, but it's still got that energy of the master number 11 doubled. Okay, so that's why it's so powerful. And if you are wondering why numbers are so important, how can that really affect us? I will be releasing a video very soon on that very topic. So if you haven't yet subs subscribed, this is a good time to hit that like button and the subscribe button and watch for that video. Because if you're like me, and if you came from a background that was is very skeptical, skeptical about these woo-woo things, then I'm going to be explaining it in a way that, that really is backed up by metaphysical law, okay, and spiritual law. So, so basically, that's what the 1111 gateway is. And then let's look then at the, the energies of this particular 1111 portal, 1111 2022. Okay. And so this act, this portal really echoes the numerology of last February, which was the 2 2 2022 and the 222 2022. Okay. So that 11, uh, you know, kind of resonates that master number, number 11 has some of that energy of the two in it. So this time represents, we've just gone through this entire purification cycle from last February through to this time of November, right? And we're initiating a brand new creative cycle, okay? So 1111 is very similar to that 2-2, but it takes it to the next harmonic, right? And so with this month of November, 2022, we're going to be starting a new cycle of manifestation after the previous nine months since last February. Okay. Um, so November, 2022 is a really vital energetic turning point for Gaia and for humanity. Okay. So numerolo numerologically, we're combining the numbers 11, which is the number of spiritual enlightenment with the number 22, which is considered the master builder number. Okay. So every single day of this month of November, 2022 resonates with these two powerful energies. And this, this day of this portal day of November 11th, 11, 11, 22, is, is super powerful because of course the two 11s also add up to 22. So there's this humongous energy of this master builder in here, just built right in. Okay. And so we'll get a little bit more into that in a, in a bit. Okay. So this month represents 
a major birthing point for building higher consciousness systems and infrastructures that will ultimately replace the old order structures and patterns that we're already seeing starting to see collapse, right? Okay, so what is this, why is this energy so significant at this time, this energy of the 11-11-2022? Well, throughout this month, and these are downloads that I've gotten when I tuned into the Akash to ask about these energies of 11-11-2022, um, I was told that throughout this month, but especially on 11-11, we're going to be receiving a fresh burst of crystal pure, very high vibrational energy coming into the earth plane. And when I'm tuning into this new energy, it feels to me like these incredible pulses of white blue light. And there it feels very energizing, very uplifting, very open and expansive. And it feels like a cosmic dance. It's just a lot of energy around it. it feels like really highly purified life force energy. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited about to do this video right now, because there is so much electricity around this, okay, and a lot of high, high vibe etheric activity. So nobody can come into contact with this kind of energy and not be affected. And it's really going to be cascading onto the entire earth, right? We're already entering that portal. And I, I don't know about you, I can already definitely feel it. So we can expect this to be a very, very transformative time, not just for now, but really opening the gateway to a, a, a lot of big changes, okay? So it's also important to realize that this is a catalyzing energy, okay? It's an energy that can get things started, right? Press the start button on certain things. So we may not see all the effects of this time portal immediately, but rest assured, it will be putting some major things into motion, okay? So four things to expect from this 1111 gateway of 2022. Number one is with this gateway of 1111, 2022, we are entering a new creative cycle. Okay, so the 1111 portal of 2022 may therefore feel like a very creative time, right? Uh, so you may feel like busting out the paints or the musical instruments or whatever it is, creating a new business plan, right? Um, for some of us, the creativity may propel us immediately into action. And especially true if you're channeling a lot of the masculine energy and or if you're in the southern hemisphere, you may feel a little bit more of an energetic push to actually immediately get things into motion, get your creative projects going. Um, if you're in the northern hemisphere or if you are holding more feminine energy, this may be a time of great receptivity, okay? And you may be getting lots of downloads at this time. And maybe just kind of writing things down, journaling. Um, maybe dreams coming in very strongly for you at this time. Maybe developing your visions, right? Um, creating a business plan, creating, starting to get crystallized, your, your feeling for what you want in this life. Maybe getting downloads around your purpose, right? Um, but you may find um, if, you're, if you're in this Northern Hemisphere and or the, the feminine energy, you may find that the fruit of what you're receiving right now may not show themselves immediately. So don't be concerned if you're not feeling like, <laughs> let's get this, you know, moving right away. Um, think of it more like planting seeds or drawing blueprints or, or, or just kind of like this is conception energy, okay? So the life is there, it's been initiated, um, but it may take a little bit of uh, nurturing and some time before it fully manifests, okay? Um, all right, so that was number one, creative energy, beautiful creative portal. Number two, potential for disruptions. Um, because the energies that we're going to be receiving through the 1111 portal are so intensely high vibrational, there is significant potential for disruptions um, to the ether, right? To the etheric, the, the, the space through which energy um, and energetic uh, downloads and things comes through. 
Um, there's going to be so much activity in the ethers that, that may be great enough to actually affect perhaps internet connect connectivity and or the airwaves or the cell service. So if things go down, maybe briefly in your area, maybe in regions, don't be too, too worried. Okay, it's just like there's, we're just getting so much energy. There's also great potential for these energies to catalyze mind-blowing events, right? Which could be disruptive, but could just be mind-blowing. Okay, this could include such things as revelations or big downloads. It could be disclosures, including potentially political disclosures. Um, it could be the introduction of new technologies. Um, innovative or amazing creative works. Um, it could be, you know, any of the above, but keep in mind that some of these things will simply be conceived at this time. We may not see them right away or the groundwork started for them to manifest, but for those that are already manifest, these are especially likely at this time to be introduced out to humanity and or shared and circulated around the internet. So if you have <laughs> kind of mind blowing things that in the works that are ready to be shared, this is a really, really good, really good month and really good energetic portal to just share them. If you are feeling you know, like, like, oh my gosh, I've, I've got these ideas. This is a really good time to share things, right? If you've been on the fence about maybe starting a new channel, starting a new podcast, something like that, this is a really, really auspicious time to maybe get that started and actually listen to those little voices that are saying, hey, you've got something to say. If you've got something to say, beautiful time to say it. Okay, so number three, shots of energy okay so as these 1111 vibrations rain down on the earth people will start feeling bursts of energy okay and how you experience these will vary based on your own karma your dharma or life purpose and the vibration that you are holding Okay, so for some, it may, may feel shocking, right? And, and, you know, if you haven't done a lot of energetic prep work, um, either in this lifetime or past lifetimes, it may be, it may be a lot, like it's going to be a lot of energy to receive and it may feel kind of shocking or disruptive to the system. Okay, so it could feel shocking, it could be feel physically shocking for some people like, you know, kind of health wise, where it could trigger events that people see or experience as shocking. Okay, so this could be especially true where these energies stir up old order stuck energies that need to be cleared. Okay, so some people and or regions of the world could be looking at a new wave of energetic clearing, which can manifest sometimes as crisis, right, or healing crisis, that kind of thing. So it will be important to keep in perspective that any kind of disturbances that show up right now is part of the process of shifting to a higher vibrational essence. Okay, so sometimes things need to be cleared out and <laughs> that can require require some chaos or disruption, right? So for other people, especially if you've done a lot of that clearing work, especially over the past nine months or so, these shots of energy could feel very energizing and uplifting. So they, they may contribute to a sense of optimism and renewed vigor, a lot of healing energy, right? It could be channeled right, right now. And this could be a very productive time especially amongst those who are at the forefront of building new earth infrastructures and systems, you know, new ways of doing things that are really going to help to build our new golden age on the earth, right? Um, so we may be seeing a lot of things crumbling or falling away or, you know, cracks in the walls of, of the old order things. But at the same time, we've got this new energy of reconstruction. And this is this incredible time where this is really coming up to be actually seen and physically starting to put these things into place, starting to make the connections to make, you know, help these, these new things start to grow. Um, this is one reason I'm so excited about this 11, 11, 2022 portal. Okay. So number four, unity consciousness. Um, so this 1111 
22 gateway opens the door for unity consciousness on this planet. <laughs> yay, 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 right? Um, we may see unlikely alliances starting to form, okay? Especially as some of the aforementioned shocks may start waking people up and making them aware of how certain things have been done to drive different factions of humanity apart. Okay, people are more and more going to start realizing that the only way for humanity to survive at this point is to start coming together, right? So people are going to start looking for commonalities and looking for solutions to address the root causes of longstanding problems. Okay, instead of putting band-aid solutions on, we're going to start looking deep down for the roots and that's going to require right? Rather than these old divisive patterns of focusing on differences, it's going to require us to start looking for commonalities. Okay, again, this is not going to happen overnight, but the events surrounding and initiating, initiated by the 11-11-22 portal will help to catalyze or get into motion these realizations that will lead to a greater unity consciousness. Okay. And then finally, let's look at four things we can do to prepare for the energies of the 11-11-2022. Okay, so when I tuned into my Akashic guidance surrounding the 11-11-2022 portal, the instructions that they gave me were really clear. Okay, number one, do not be alarmed. Okay, and that's <laughs> verbatim from the Akash, do not be alarmed. So understand that any disruptions or crisis at this time will ultimately pave the way for the greater good, right? This is the energy of Shiva. It's the energy of Archangel Michael, who really asked to be here right now in, in this um, video. And it's that cutting away, right? It's breaking down of that which no longer serves our highest truth, our highest purpose. Okay, so don't be alarmed, just, you know, just stay, um, you know, stay focused on let's envision the highest good, let's envision what does a new golden age look like and really focusing on we're, this is what we're bringing in right now. And by the way, this is a painting of Archangel Michael that I did, I think, back in 2016. Um, he always wants to come forward at this 11-11 time. I kind of feel like he, this painting really talks about this, these 11-11 energies. And he's really supported me through lots of changes in, in the past few years. He's asking at this time to, to move on. Um, I feel like there's, there's a place that he's really meant to be where he's going to be seen more and be able to it'll probably comfort a lot of people. Um, so if, if he's calling to you, I am actually putting him on sale this month. This is the original. Um, he's also, I've, I've also got prints of him on my website, but um, I feel like there's, there's one specific person or perhaps a, a clinic or a spot or something that is meant to, to be his new home for, for this original painting. If you feel home calling to you, <laughs> I'm putting the link in the description box below to learn more. Okay. Number two, stay in the heart. Okay, so the old order energies will powerfully resist these incoming 1111 energies, and they're likely to do everything possible to trigger people into lower chakra responses, right, and survival mentality. So as light workers and as awakened and awakening beings, um, we know that operating at the level of the heart is key to transmuting these lower energies, these fears, right? These, these, these um, you know, just energies of chaos and fear and wanting to stay in that kind of lower vibrational uh, frame of mind. We can transmute these through the heart into higher vibrational energies and ways of being okay so taking the time every day to meditate and get into that heart space can really facilitate this process 
okay? Number three, grounding, right? Grounding is essential. The 11, 11, 22, 22 energies are like high intensity bolts of electricity coming onto the earth and coming into our bodies, right? So grounding your mind and your body will be extremely helpful at, at this time. Whatever practices that you can do to ground, if you're where it's warm, go walk barefoot. Grounding um, pranayama, the breathing exercises that help to steady and calm ourselves, right, is, is can be really, really super helpful, right? It's going to be really necessary through this time. Um, and also sharing what you learn, sharing any kind of grounded and grounding thoughts and practices, you know, helping people say, say you know, know that everything's all right. Uh, you know, Mother Earth is here for us. <laughs> Just whatever you can share that is grounding. Um, it's going to really help you and everyone around you survive and even thrive in, um, you know, in November 2022 and beyond. And then finally, number four, what I was given from the Akashas is really important at this time to take care of your nervous system. That's related to the grounding, right? Um, being especially mindful of the nervous system at this time, um, loving practice, loving kindness practices and self-care highly recommended. Right, and any any kind of maybe Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga practices, um, you know, anything that can help to protect your nervous system and keep you calm and grounded. I, and I think really this taking care of the nervous system and the grounding, but I think it's so important. That's why they gave me two points for this, right? <laughs> okay, so take care of yourself during this time. Enjoy this time because like I said, this is really, really a powerful time that we can use to really manifest amazing things at this month. And remember, you were born to be free.